This week is Canada's Week of Accessibility, and today is Global Day of Parents. So here to celebrate, celebrate parents of all abilities and talk about how their disabilities have played a role in how they parent, I'm joined by Marjorie Onos and Martin Parker. Thank you to both of you being here today. Thank you for yeah. having us. Uh, Marjorie, you're a single mom of one, but in 2012, you were in a car accident that left you paralyzed from your armpits to your toes, and your son Thomas was just 16 months old. Uh, tell me, how do you navigate your new normal as you raise your son? Oh, my God. Adjusting to life with a spinal cord injury while raising a rambunctious two-year-old has been the biggest challenge of my life, for sure. I went from a go-getter who did everything on her own to basically, you know, having to slow down, prioritize, and then navigate parenthood uh, with my parents. So that was uh, hard, but in the same time, very rewarding and magical. Martin, your daughter Hallie uh, was two when you were diagnosed with Parkinson's, and you say you've noticed how your disability has shaped her into a more patient, more empathetic child. Oh, yeah, she definitely uh, has to be more patient. Um, it's also made her a more observant, more understanding child. Uh, she's turned into a, actually a very young, tall, she's up to my shoulder now, beautiful young lady. Uh, but I always said I was always going to try for her no matter what. And she, she observes me and she sees me sometimes when, when I'm not well. And sometimes we just need to take a break and sometimes we just go, go, go. Like we prioritize our time. Marjorie, do, do you notice the same thing with Thomas? Uh, has you being in a wheelchair changed, uh, do you think, who he, how he sees himself in your life yeah. and in his life? Um, Thomas is such a creative young boy. It's amazing. He has a really strong sense of social justice as well. He used to build like those uh, wheelchair Legos. And uh, now he makes plans for greener and more accessible Montreal. So, um, you know, he's amazing. As parents living with a disability, um, both of, and this is a question to both of you, what are the biggest challenges that you face day to day? For me, it's really like the access to building that parents and children usually go to. So libraries are fine usually, but I'm talking about pools or playgrounds. The sun is not really great with my wheelchair and pools, I need, you know, larger changing rooms and so forth. So that's been the hardest for me. Martin, what about for you? Well, uh, a lot of people don't realize that uh, Parkinson's is a lack of dopamine and dopamine has a lot of things to do besides inhibit your movement. It also uh, has uh, impact on your mood and things like depression and things like that can, ha can happen with a low level of dopamine. So a lot of times when you on top of the physical limitations of things you can't do, sometimes your brain is just telling you you just can't. And you got to fight through that. So you got to get up every day and you got to be a good dad. You got to do it for your kids. You know, you're both taking part in Speaker Slam today at 7 p.m. virtually, and you, along with other parents living with disabilities, are going to be sharing your stories. Uh, and the point of this is to highlight the joys of parenting, right? Right. There's a lot of uh, good, positive things that happen. I think it involves all parents. Uh, we all face challenges, no better, no worse. Uh, we all have our stuff. Uh, we just want to highlight how, how much... Uh, how we're all the same and how the positive parts of disability. Yeah. Well, I think, I think, you, make, yeah. you, know, I think yeah. you make a good point that, that, that we all have our stuff, but sometimes we can forget that, that others have their stuff too and, and, and it's different and it needs to be recognized and accommodated for. Um, I want to thank you both uh, for being here today. You know, as a parent um, uh, who has a lot of support in his life, on, on, even on good days, it can feel really tough. Uh, so I appreciate you coming in and sharing your stories um, of struggle, but also of optimism. Uh, it, I think it, it means a lot to a lot of parents today. Thank you so much. Thank you for having All right, for more information on tonight's event, you can go to speakerslam.org events.